Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest update on what's going on with the severe weather for today, for tomorrow. Also, still what we have for Thursday. And I'm going to give you the latest tropical update in this video. If you've never been here before, make sure you do subscribe. Make sure you click the bell and select all so you get all the updates. This is actually our second tropical wave that we had so far this year. And unfortunately, it's looking like it's starting to ramp up at the end of May before June even comes. And this is agreeing from the Euro also agreeing with the GFS. Both of them are in accordance with this. Now for today, we do have our chance for our severe weather. It has ramped up our enhanced section. Matter of fact, it has ramped up its chances for more significant tornadoes. Now, even though they had great live streamers doing their job last night, storm chasers all over the place, Last night, we still unfortunately have lost at least one life in Oklahoma as Barnesdale, Barnesdall, however you pronounce it, I do apologize, they got hit with a tornado emergency. So they really had a big problem in eastern Oklahoma, and it wasn't just Barnesdale. It was Bartlesville. It was a few areas that had some really bad tornadoes last night. So I will give you all the latest information. So that way you can be best prepared for today and going into tonight. Because it's still showing for tomorrow. We still have the chances for severe weather. Even a significant severe still shows true. So I'm going to show you all the latest information in this video. We can even see into Wednesday now and see how explosive Wednesday is going to grow. So I will show you all the latest information. Remember, all I ask is help the video, help the channel, support the video, hit the like button, share, whatever you can do to help get this in front of people. That way people are most aware because even those live streamers did a great job last night i'm talking phenomenal all day all night all morning long we still had lost a life so thank you for your help for everyone now let's get into your information we will come back to this i will zoom in so you can see exactly what's going on for today and potentially for tomorrow remember it's going to move around just a little bit let me show you some information first on the model data now so far we did have over 350 severe thunderstorm warnings and this goes also for the southeast we we had 15 tornado reports. This includes Tennessee over here, but we also had Missouri. We also had South Dakota. Remember, I showed you that one in South Dakota that was going to form up potentially all the way towards Montana. It did happen. Plus, over here in Oklahoma, this is where the most emergency was. Unfortunately, this is where your high risk was. And we also had over 150 wind damage reports. Now, officially for today, here's your chances for your tornadoes, even significant severe, at least EF2 or greater strength expected. Plus, you have this big green 2% that goes all the way around for these other cells that do travel through for today. So here's your cities and states at risk for the chances for tornadoes for today. You also have the chances for winds today. See, it did mild down. Remember, today is a little bit of a mild down, but we still got chances for intense tornadoes and large hail. Even significant hail, at least two inches in diameter in the black. So here's your cities and states at risk for damage and hail for today. National Weather Service has scattered severe thunderstorms are expected across the Ohio Valley today. A few tornadoes, potentially strong, large to very large hail, and severe damage and winds all appear possible. So as we look a little bit closer, you can see as this wave goes by, then once we get around 2 and 3 o'clock, this is when our significant tornado perimeter starts kicking in on the southern side of these cells, also including these going through northern Illinois. Then as you go a little bit later in the evening, it moves away from Wisconsin. And now you have some big cells moving through Michigan where it's favored, also Indiana. But look how big these cells are passing through Indiana and western Michigan. This is around 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening. As you go from 6 and 7 o'clock, you can see your significant tornado perimeter still following those storms passing through Michigan that you still need to be aware of. But now it's really favoring that line of storms that's going all the way from Ohio all the way down into Indiana. So watch for anything that pops up in front of this damage and wind line right this is straight line storms and as you see it go all the way from seven to eight o'clock you can see the straight line storms now you can start seeing some cells popping up and that's where we have our favored environment for anything for cape for dew points for shear every possibility that helps a best chance for a tornado as you go to 9 and 10 o'clock, you can see it does still favor that line. So you can have embedded cells somewhere in this line as you go on through tonight. Then as you go from 11 and 12 o'clock, now starting to move into Pennsylvania. Western Pennsylvania looks like he could be under a risk. These storms strengthen as they go by, but once they hit Pennsylvania, they start weakening down. And you can see how they do that. You got the storms a little stronger on western Pennsylvania, but the rest of these you can obviously see this is not going to be tornadic in nature. You can see the cells in this as this line goes all the way towards Tennessee 
early in the morning. But as it keeps pushing through, it's a less of a threat for chances for tornadoes. Then once you go towards tomorrow, once that surface low starts kicking up, right to the east of that is where your storms are going to bring. And you can see your significant tornado perimeters. It is a green. That's where that kicks in. So far, it's showing for Missouri for tomorrow morning. You're not going to have no time to wait. This whole atmosphere over here is going to be loaded with, with dew points, with a lot of lift. And it's not getting tapped into too much for today. So it's going to be prime for tomorrow. So tomorrow it's going to start early. And you can see that surface low building. Chances for your tornadoes riding right below that. And so as you go through for tomorrow morning, the threat goes through northern Arkansas, through Missouri. Then it goes through Illinois. And these cells popping up in front of it is what you want to be aware for as this pushes through. So definitely for tomorrow afternoon, southern Illinois going into Kentucky, these cells that start flaring up. As it goes towards Indiana, it really turns into another straight line wind event as it kicks in towards the east. It would factor these cells pushing in front of it. But now you got some more cells popping up over here for Arkansas. Now you have two linear storms. The first line of storms is kicking up the second line of storms. And that second line of storms is where your tornadic chances could be somewhere is an embedded cell in there so you do need to watch out for this this is a dangerous moment as you go towards tomorrow night so you can see for tomorrow your severe weather has changed your enhanced section has grown and your chances for tornadoes you even got a pocket over here for iowa and the eastern side of the upper midwest the north central now this is chances for significant severe in this black at least ef2 or stronger as those cells starts pushing through for tomorrow so far here's your cities and states at risk for your tornado threat for tomorrow for wednesday also have your chances for winds for tomorrow a broad area but your strongest winds are expected to stay within those line of storms as it pushes through here's your cities and states at risk for the damage of winds for wednesday and your hail threat even at significant severe in that black at least two inches in diameter expected but you still have a five percent going all the way towards the coast so here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for Wednesday. National Weather Service has scattered to numerous severe thunderstorms appear likely Wednesday across from parts of the Southern Plains into the mid Mississippi, Ohio and Tennessee valleys. All severe hazards at play, including tornadoes, very large hail and severe damage and winds should occur. Some of the tornadoes may be strong. Plus another update on your damage and winds for today. You can see as you go through today, it does mile down after it goes past eastern Indiana. Bring a chance to still for 40, 50, even get 60 in that red miles per hour wind gust in these storm cells as they push through. Then as you go for tomorrow, it's going to come right back again. Start bringing that 50, that 60, even getting some 70 miles per hour wind gusts in there on those cells. A lot of good chances for hail, especially for tomorrow so as you go through for today it's still going to be sporadic we can see it across multiple states bringing chances for hail but you can also see for tomorrow it's going to go right over the same areas and bring a bigger chance for more dense hail so just be aware of that tomorrow is showing a lot stronger than today still and don't forget we still have thursday we have the five percent and we have the big 15 percent that's going all the way across the south and southeast and the mid-atlantic so here's your cities and states at risk so far for the severe weather for thursday now our latest tropical update real quick you can see that we still have that tropical wave that's going through central america after we go by the 10th now the latest update instead of it pushing into the eastern pacific in a deep trough right here they will be blocking the pacific going up on a high ridge that would pull everything in this direction and you can see right here with the euro that as we look for a chance for a surface low to form up that it does try to form up one in the gulf of mexico maybe going out to east coast maybe even staying in the gulf multiple opportunities because you can see the same thing with another weather model you look at the gfs you see a precipital water it all still pulls towards central america then it forms out into the eastern pacific start strengthening up getting down towards a 980 and stronger still showing that that's still happening but then we get that big deep trough kicking in and it starts helping with more severe weather remember i do severe weather and tropics at the same time but it will kick in and start bringing this precipitation towards the 
east. You see how it starts going into the Pacific? Then it transforms into the Bay of Campeche and starts swinging all that moisture around. It will be east side loaded. This will affect potentially Florida, Cuba, our Caribbean islands, also the Bahamas. There's a lot of chances with that as that swings by, then potentially another one coming. You can see right here with your chances for a pressure system. That at first you get a chance for a low pressure to form. That one stays kind of weak, goes off into the Atlantic. That's been trending a little bit, but any motion in the Gulf would be a little worrisome. The one good news about this has been trending that these will be fast movers and they won't have a chance to form up strong. But you can see that second wave right here that Euro really can't see that far. That it shows it does strengthen up, then it gets curved with its moisture, its precipitation, its winds. And it starts headed towards the Gulf of Mexico. This is subject to change. It always is. I'm not saying this is the path. This is just your latest update. Now you can see your chances for a tropical depression to form by the Euro does favor from Central America going into the Eastern Pacific. It's not favoring any turn just yet. I will keep you updated. And so far, there's nothing with National Hurricane Center. I will keep you updated on that as well. But we still have from your global tropics chances for a cyclone to form from the 15th through the 21st of May going into the Eastern Pacific. That's still your latest update. Now, this is subject to change. This updates every Thursday. Now let's go through and see what we can see so far as far as what these storms are going to do for your chances for tornadoes for today. Remember the time and date is on the top left. This is central time. So after you start pushing through for this morning, after you get that straight line event, and it does weaken down as it pushes through, it still stays strong for Wisconsin all the way through the UP of Michigan. But you can also see that after that goes, you still have that cluster of storms that comes through for this afternoon. Now, so far it's showing it starts in Illinois. It goes through Wisconsin. It goes through Michigan. It goes through Indiana. This is at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You start getting these cells popping up bringing some strength with them, but it really don't strengthen until a little bit later. Look, that just crosses across the lake, starts getting a hail course. These start strengthening up for Indiana, for Michigan, for northern Ohio as you go towards 5 o'clock, pushing towards 5 and 6 to the east, still showing a little north of Indianapolis, but you still get some straight line winds right there as you go towards 6. Still showing strong storms all through the lake, still have them going all the way from Minnesota to Dakotas, Montana, through Wisconsin, but just for your chances for your tornado. That's all I want to look at on this right now is the chances for the tornadoes. So you can see as you go through this afternoon, it starts becoming a linear event as that moves through, even also into Kentucky. You don't even see a lot of hail cores in those neither. You see how that just pushes through to the early morning hours. Then we're going to get for tomorrow while this goes all night long. But your chances for your significant tornadoes for today, you do have that significant severe chance. These cells are pushing through as you go towards 4 o'clock. This is where it zooms in a little more for Indiana, for Ohio, for northern Kentucky. These cells are starting to come through where you have some winds aloft. They're not super strong, but you have some winds aloft. But you can see the hail cores in these cells as it goes by Indianapolis, as it goes by Fort Wayne, as it goes by north northwestern Ohio by 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock looks like a good mag magic hour, 6 o'clock as well for these strong cells to come through your area and get the chances for those tornadoes. Even significant severe, but look at the northern side. Look up here for Michigan. You are still getting some strong cells that's passing through as you go through for 5 and 6 o'clock. That is a really strong hour, 5 to 6 o'clock for today. Now you do have possible storms popping up in all this for today. I did show you in the weather models. That's why I go through that. Now for tomorrow, we have that chance for significant severe also, and it is for chances for significant tornadoes. So just get a little look. This is going to move around a little bit as you go through the morning. Then as that forms back up for tomorrow, so far nine o'clock tomorrow morning, Showing a lot of hail cores immediately. Remember, the atmosphere is primed. You didn't get anything strong for today. It is going to use it for tomorrow morning. Look at all these hail cores passing through for northern Arkansas, going through Missouri, 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. 
Then you're going to go all the way towards St. Louis. It's weaker for St. Louis as that goes towards noon. As you go towards the afternoon, it flares right back up as it goes into Kentucky, as it goes into southern Indiana again. Then you're going to get that second line of storm start brewing up as that goes to the east. And this is the one that's going to be a little bit further to the south, all the way from Oklahoma through Arkansas, through western and southern Missouri. Look how it comes to the east as you go towards 9 o'clock at night. So you do have a strong moment for tomorrow as well. I think it will stay strong all evening along. This is at midnight. Still got your chances for your tornadoes. But look at these cells. You still got all the hail cores. You even got black in that one showing a lot of large hail. But look at this bowing out coming out at midnight. Why you got these storms coming across North Carolina and Virginia? Well, thank you to all the live streamers and thank you to all the storm chasers out there that go out and show us this information. Y'all really are the ones that help make things happen. Unfortunately, we have lost at least one life in Oklahoma. I think we will hear of more. So God bless their family and may they have peace in their heart and in their house. That is very unfortunate. Now, before you go on today, Psalm 34, 14 through 18. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save the such as be of a contrite spirit. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Be safe in these storms. Remember to alert your neighbors, check on the pets. I appreciate everyone's time for today. And remember, above all things, all glory goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe. You, your family, your neighbors, your enemies, my enemies. <laughs> Everyone in the path of these storms and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen.